Welcome sa sip9.com. Sa video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, volume. No? And uh, in this video, ay magsusolve tayo ng volume ng rectangular solids. No? So, sa previous videos, ang pinag-aralan natin, yung sa unang video, was about the concept of volume. Tapos, diniscuss na rin natin yung uh, volume of rectangular solid. Tapos, sa pangalawang video, ang ginawa natin is nagbigay tayo ng mga sample problems, no? on um, on uh, finding the area of oh no, not, not the area but the volume of rectangular solids so in this video I we will solve more problems and let's begin solving the first problem find the width of a carton whose uh, volume is 600 cubic centimeters and of length and height are 15 and 10 centimeters respectively. So given ang volume, no, we have our volume. So we'll use a different color. And volume I 600 cubic centimeters. Tapos yung length. Length is 15 centimeters. And Ang height natin is 10 centimeters. Ang ano natin is yung width, no? And as I mentioned in the previous video, just follow the formula. Volume equals length times width times height. Kasi later, mamamanipulate natin yan sa siya pakuha natin yung width, no? So, volume is 600 cubic centimeters equals length, which is 15 centimeters times, anong width natin? Wala, yun yung ano, no? So, lagay lang natin yung W times height, which is 10 centimeters. Pwede natin i-multiply itong dalawang to, no? 15 centimeters saka 10 uh, centimeters. So, 600 uh, cubic centimeters equals 15 centimeters times 10 centimeters is 150 centimeter or square centimeters, no? May square na siya kasi, dalawang centimeters, di ba? Uh, uh, area na siya, actually area na to. Times width, no? And para makuha natin yung width, we have to divide both sides by 150, no? Para width na lang yung matira dito. So, 600 divided by, divided by um, 150, Cube, uh, square centimeters equals width, no? Kasi pag nag-divide pag nag tayo ng 150 dito, makakancel na yun, di ba? I'm ready to do W na lang. So, 600 divided by 150, we have 4 centimeters. Yun yung width natin. And uh, as I have mentioned in the previous video, ang treatment nito para rin law of exponent, no? Kasi may tatlo kang centimeters sa taas, centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. May dalawang centimeters kasi ba centimeters times centimeters. Magka-cancel yung dalawa, matitira isa. And of course, uh, this confirms that that the width is a one-dimensional, uh, is in one dimension because of the centimeters. Hindi siya square centimeters, which is area, or cubic centimeters, which is volume. So pag length lang, width or height, ang ano mo lang, ang unit mo lang is centimeters. Okay, so let's have our second uh, problem. A metal bar is 10 centimeters long, 6 centimeters wide, and 20 centimeter high. And weighs, wala yatang ti ito, weighs 50 grams per cubic centimeters. Or per cubic centimeter without S. Uh, how much does the bar weigh? Puli mo na natin yung volume, di ba? Kasi ang tinatanong is 50 grams per cubic centimeter. So pag cubic centimeter, ang hanap natin volume. So volume equals length times width times height, which is equal to 10 centimeters times 6 centimeters times 20 centimeters. So this is 60 times 20. 1... 1,200, no? 
Kasi 60 times 2 is 120. Ta. Tapos may 0 ka pa. So, 1,200 cubic centimeters. No? Hmm, mukhang mabigat yata itong metal na to Ano kayong klaseng metal? So, 1,200 times 50 grams. Ano yan? One thousand two hundred. Tinamad na no, but uh, that's sixty thousand. So ang volume nito is one hundred twenty, one thousand two hundred cubic centimeters. Kaso inahanap niya yung weight, so weight is equal to the volume, which is one hundred twenty. Uh, 1,200 cubic centimeters times 50 per cubic centimeters. No? So, 50 grams per cubic centimeters. So, makakakancel yan, magtira grams, which is, which is the correct unit for weight. So, ilan yan? 5 times 12 is 60. Bakit pa natin yun in ano, calculator? So, 60,000, meaning... 60,000 grams. No? Ibig sabihin ng 60,000 grams, 60 kilos yan kasi ang 1,000 grams is 1 kilo. So, 60 kilos siya. No? Napakabigat yata ang metal nito. No? Ano kaya? Medyo mamahalid siguro metal ito. Okay, so 60 kilos, parang halos mahigit isang sakong bigas no? sa probinsya. And gano'n lang siya ka, ano? gano'n lang siya ka ka 10 centimeters lang, 20 centimeters high. So, parang less than one ruler. So, medyo mabigat to. Ano kaya ang klaseng metal? Okay, so at least nakuha na natin yung sagot. no? Huwag na natin problemahin yan kung bakit siya mabigat. Maybe it's a rare metal. And I think we end here. Uh, gusto ko invite sa ating uh, YouTube channel sa... Uh, youtube.com slash user slash ph and of course to our website sipnayan.com uh, pwede kayong mag-subscribe sa aming channel no? and of course kung nagustuhan nyo yung video pwede kayong mag uh, thumbs up mag-like and then you also you can also share it with your friends no? and syempre kung meron kayong tanong pwede kayong mag-comment maraming salamat see you in the next tutorial